Hello, it's Ryan from the New Janky Workshop. Um, today we're doing a little leather working video. I haven't done one of these. So uh, I'm making a keychain-y kind of a thing here. And I figured it was a good opportunity to kind of at least introduce you to the stitching method that I've learned here. So I learned how to stitch from watching YouTube videos because that's how a lot of people learn how to do these things. And the guy I learned from is uh, Quarter Leather. He's based in New Hampshire. They're based in New Hampshire. Uh, excuse me, not New Hampshire. They're based on Cape Cod in Massachusetts. Sorry, not New Hampshire. Um, they're based in Cape Cod and they do leather working videos. And when I started looking into doing leather working, I didn't have this fancy little thing that everybody calls a stitching pony. So I was like, YouTube search, how to stitch leather without stitching pony. I knew that a stitching pony was a thing. I didn't know what it did. So I watched the videos from Quarter Leather, which I will link in the description below. And they taught me how to stitch. And so essentially, this is a, a very basic stitch called a saddle stitch. What I'm doing here, if we want to kind of dig in a little bit on this, is this is a piece of leather that has a rope in the middle, braided rope in the middle. Um, and then, as you can probably see there, the leather is glued around the rope. And that line is stitched. The holes are punched with this, a stitching chisel. So the holes are punched, contrary to popular belief, when you're stitching leather by hand, you don't actually push the needle itself through the leather. So these are punched in a row. As you can see, one tooth fits into the next. And then I go in with the process that you can see here. So I'm not gonna teach you how to do it, but I will show you the technique. So essentially it's, you know, let me get to a rest stitch. So this is where you have a rest stitch. So you can imagine I've just pushed these two needles through this thread. These are two needles that are on the end of here. I've just pushed these two needles through this hole and both of them are now hanging in the back here. So I take the front needle string. If I can grab it. This is the problem with having big fingers. Take the front needle string and I kind of snug it over my finger to keep some tension on it. And I take the back needle and I put it in the same hole as the front needle string is going through on the back side. Push it up through, keeping pressure on it and then push it down one, boom. Tighten it up a little bit, switch those two. Again, take the front needle string, wrap it around my finger, pull that out, go back in. Take these again, switch it. Front needle goes through the back needle, excuse me, back needle goes through the front needle string hole and out the other side, back in, and there we go. And then you know, sort of operation when I don't have a cameraman right up on me. Kind of, you can actually make some pretty decent progress with this. It's not a slow stitching method. It's not a fast stitching method, but it is very soothing. So this is eventually going to be finished and this will get wrapped around like this. Again, this is it. This is all a design that I learned by watching quarter leather videos, all right? So I'm totally ganking his style, but, um, and look, this is glue that's blown out here, so gotta glue that up. But anyway, figured I'd just show you a quick, le quick leather working video. Thank you. Make sure to hit the like, the subscribe buttons, all that good stuff. You know, there's buttons down in here to do that and stuff. So, you know what the kids are saying, like and subscribe and all that, right? Ryan from the New Janky Workshop, join us again soon.